So um, I believe the people are our most valuable asset in the Coast Guard. So when you get an opportunity to uh, get to know your crews, it helps build trust and also um, you can learn their strengths and really what motivates them to serve. So taking the time when you, and it can be somebody not necessarily that works for you, but it's in the service that's more junior, uh, taking the time to talk to them and getting to know them and you know learn their story. And that can be where they're from, um, you know, their family, what are their hobbies. Uh, taking the time to listen to them, right? And, and see what motivates them and they get that feeling that you care. And when they, when, our, when people see that you care, it brings out the best in them. And they, and they wanna do good, because they're invested in the organization, because they, in their minds, they believe the organization is invested in them. And I remember when I joined the Coast Guard, I, I, was, I was enlisted first. And I remember being a, a seaman on the on a 210, uh, Coast Guard Cutter Dependable. And uh, I had one, uh, when I first joined the, the, the Coast Guard and was on the cutter, I was sailor of the quarter for one of the quarters. And um, uh, subsequent patrols later, I remember we were down in the Caribbean and, and uh, we got diverted a few times. Our mid patrol break was gonna be to Puerto Rico, which is where I'm from. And, and I remember I hadn't been in home in a while uh, since, probably since I, I got to the boat uh, and not taken liberty or anything. And, to go down there and uh, I remember I got off watch and I'm sitting there eating dinner, it was about dinner time and uh, I get a call to the bridge and I thought to myself, oh, what did I do now? Because I had just gotten off watch and I thought I messed up something. So I run up to the bridge and I go to the, to the cumo table. Uh, What's going on? The captain wants to see you. I'm like, oh. So I go up to the captain and, and uh, Cam, you know, salute and uh, what can I do? It's like, hey, uh, you were sailed the quarter a few months ago, right? It's like, yeah, Cam. It's like, I heard you never took your liberty days. It's correct. And you're from Puerto Rico, and you haven't been home in a while. Um, you see that boat that's over there? That boat's gonna take you to the island, uh, and we'll pull in in a couple days, and you can join us at that point. So I ran, you know, packed the bag, and went with that boat, and I had three days of my liberty. Uh, that I had earned that I never took, but uh, was able to spend more time with my family and friends uh, and my wife at the time, uh, my wife. So it was, it was just, a, you know, him knowing those things about me, that where I was from, that I was near San Juan, where the other boat was pulling in, and that I hadn't been home in a while. Uh, kind of, you know, after that, to me, I would do anything with a little bit more pride and joy because I was like, man, they care about me. So I, I have to put my best foot forward to continue uh, doing great in this organization. And, uh, and then, uh, you know, fast forward, I got my commission. I'm a junior officer. I'm the executive officer of, uh, of a station, Station Fort Lauderdale. And I remember the sector commander would come down to visit his units every once in a while. And I remember the sector commander always stopped and talked to different folks in the crew. Not, didn't have to be the highest rank, could be a, 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 you know, a lower rank person, but he always took time to talk to those people. And, you know, he would do quarterly visits sometimes, you know, uh, as permitted by his schedule. And I remember one time he talked and, st and, and talked to this uh, seaman and some months later stopped by on his next visit and went and saw a seaman and asked him about his wife and kids and almost kind of asking questions about the conversation they had months before. And, you know, this is an 06 that talks to many people but just the fact that he remembered and he took the time to go and follow up with some of the uh, discussion topics that they had talked it, it was just to see that and I remember when the captain left um, that member came to see he's like I can't believe the captain remembered everything we talked about he's like because he cares he cares about his people so as I've continued through my through my commission you know up to, to being a senior officer I always I valued what I learned that early, and I've continued to embrace that uh, through my career uh, to get to know my people and care, because I do care, right? We all care, but I do care about our people. I, I want them to, uh, to feel like they're wanted, and 
in, in exchange, people will give you their best. So that's kind of a principle I learned early in my career, and I've, and I've thrived to continue doing the same thing I learned from those great leaders back in the day.